helicopters, pensioned off in favour of newer, cheaper aircraft. Simple economics have been blamed for the demise of the Chinook. Replacing them with Townsville-based Blackhawk machines will save $110 million by 1994 and avoid expensive refits to the 20-year-old aircraft. Today, an ebullient ceremony masked deep sadness at the Chinook's passing. In the 15 years 12 Squadron has been based at Amberley, the mighty helicopters have saved scores of lives, dropping food and fodder to floodbound farmers and, as recently as April, plucking a family from the sea after they abandoned their sinking yacht. Probably got a lot more nicknames than any other aircraft in the Air Force and um, one of the comments was that uh, it's the only aircraft that turns aviation kerosene into noise, wind and terror. Its capability for lifting is uh, about two to three times the capability of the Black Hawk and uh, some of the loads that we've been able to carry, the Black Hawk won't be able to carry. The last hurrah for the Chinooks, a fond fly past for the Amberley crowd, then a final sweep over Canungra, the Gold Coast, Brisbane and Ipswich. So, rightly or wrongly, the RAF career of the Chinooks is now over. The men of 12 Squadron will be split up and reassigned, and the old birds themselves, they're likely to be sold off to an overseas buyer. Dean Felton, National 9.